hello and welcome to this session on jmeter beginner tutorials tips and tricks and today we are going to learn something very important and very useful in jmeter and that is the time functions so we are going to see how can we refer a current timestamp in jmeter how can we get the timestamp in any required format and we will also see how can we get some particular date for example some particular date plus or minus some day and we can get the final results and these are going to be very helpful in your test plans so let me go and switch to my jmeter and here if you go to your options you will have a option for function helper dialog and also you will have this icon for function helper dialog so i will click here and here you have a function helper dialog for jmeter and here is a drop down so you can go to the time function so if you scroll down you will find there is a time function here and here we have the name and value so you can give any format here so let us say i want to generate a time in the format mmm dash dd dash yyyy and also let me say i want hours minutes and seconds so what you have to do is you can give your required format here and then here is a button to generate and copy to clipboard now if you click here you will get the result so for example it is giving me the current timestamp in the required format and then it gives you the function syntax so this is the syntax of the function now this function you can use anywhere in your jmeter for example if you want to create a csv file with the current timestamp or you want to add a value for the current timestamp in the required format in any of your request in jmeter you can use this function so this is very handy and very useful you just have to give the format here click on the generate and copy to clipboard it will give you the results and it will give you the syntax that you can use now there is another very useful function which is time shift so if you go here again here you can give your required format so for example here i give uh, mmm dd yyyy and if i say generate again it is giving me the current timestamp and it is giving me the function that i can use but here we can go a step further and here you can actually you can plus or minus days from the time so for example here i can say plus one day so i will say p one d that is plus one day and now if you click on generate you can see it has giving me the date for the next day similarly you can say plus you can say plus three days and it is giving me a date after three days you can also give minus so i can say minus one and say generate and copy and it is giving me a date before and so on you can do it now there is another field which is date to shift now what i have given is if i leave this blank it will always add the operation to the current date but i can also make it work on a particular date so what i will do is i will give some particular date in the same format which i have given here so for example i will say here march 012018 and here i am saying p1d that is plus one day and now if i say generate and copy you can see it is giving me march 22018 so this is how you can use function time and time shift and this will be very useful in your jmeter i hope this session was useful for you if you like it please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel also share this video with others I will meet you in the next episode of JMeter Tips and Tricks. Thank you for watching.